All right. Any last messages out to your teams? Go ahead and send those out. I can see some beautiful faces. Hello, everybody. Let's give it about, I love it, Joy. Uh, let's give it about 45 more seconds, get some messages out, and we will be back in 45 seconds to wrap this. All right. So hello, everybody. Um, just me tonight, Maddie. Hi, everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jamie Hill. I live here in South Jersey. It is freezing cold. Um, I'm super excited to be hosting Action Hour tonight on the last night of the month. I've been sharing ketones since 2019, September. Um, haven't looked back since. Shed 55 pounds of fat. Love it. And I'm really stoked to rock this end of the month. So in the chat, I uh, let me know where you guys are tuning in from and how many hours you have left <laughs> for this sale. Um, keeping that in mind, we are probably going to make this about 40-ish minutes so that we can, um, you know, close this call and really keep those last hours into action. So hello from all over the world. Hey, Jamie. Awesome. So. As y'all know, um, the hustle and bustle bonus ends tonight. So if you have, if you're rank one through six, if you have secured your three promoters, sorry, three customers and two new promoters, that's super exciting. Congratulations. If you ran for it and didn't quite hit it, that's okay. We're going to do an activity that's going to bring you closer to that. So we're going to jump straight into action. Um, what I would love to have y'all do is we're going to work in our messenger, our messenger, both on Facebook and on Instagram and go back into search and see any last minute conversations you may have looked over any conversations that didn't result in a sale. Um, so grab those Rhino run trackers. Also see anybody on there that is not highlighted or colored in. And we are going to reach back out to all of those people and how you're going to search in Facebook and IG is you can actually go up when you're in the messenger, hit the little magnifying glass, and you can type in a couple of keywords like the word link, expensive, um, sale, and even the word or the numbers 33, right? How many messages did we all send out since Black Friday with the number? Oh my gosh, this 33% off sale, right? So those are the keywords you want to go search in your messengers to go tie up any loose ends that you have with anybody. If you are amazing and a rock star and you've already tied up all your loose ends, I'm going to challenge you to have five additional conversations um, in the seven minutes that I'm going to put on the timer for us to go tie up loose ends. So again, Rhino Run Tracker, Messenger on Facebook, Instagram Messenger, and then looking for the keywords link, expensive, sale, 33. Check those out. So we're going to start the timer now. We'll be back in seven minutes. Six minutes. I lied. Six.
All right, we have about a minute and a half left. For those of you hopping in here a little bit late, we're just reaching out to people in our messenger groups where we've used words link, expensive, sale, 33% off, and trying to tie up any loose ends there, encouraging them that there is a sense of urgency with the time cut off tonight for that amazing sale. So we'll be back in about 90 seconds. All right. So next, because it's the end of the month and because we have this amazing 
promo, amazing bonus that we're running for. I also want to remind people that we probably had some conversations about joining the business this month, right? We probably had a couple more conversations than normal. So we're going to do the same activity we just did, um, but we are going to uh, do two minutes of this and we're going to look for the words bundle, business, and opportunity. So bundle, business, opportunity. You're going to go into your messenger, see if you have anything. And did you guys see the good, better, best bundles that dropped today also? Like, I hope that's around tomorrow too, because um, that's amazing. It's also a great conversation to have with people to dip their toes in the water. People who are asking you questions like, hey, um, you know, what should I start out with? Now we have these amazing bundles with some nice BV behind them, right? So just keep that in the back of your mind, but let's take two minutes to reach out to anybody that we may have started a business conversation with. Um, so that's business, bundle, and opportunity. Three words that you're going to want to go search for. Let's take two minutes. If you don't have any of those words, I would encourage you to think about your chicken list, which is kind of like your, ooh, this is my friend who I knew would rock this, but like, e, haven't really asked them. I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and ask them right now. Tell them that promoter bundles are 33% off. It's an amazing time to join. Ask them right now to join the business. We're going to take two minutes, then we're going to come back here and see how many conversations we, like, we were able to have. So two minutes, I will be back. And that's my dare. Ask somebody on your chicken list to join us. All right, we are times up. So go ahead and put in the chat. How many conversations did you have while you do that? I'm going to answer some questions. Um, do you know the name of the December challenge and the dates of it yet? I do not. Um, search is not working. The word search find only is it what you said? Yep, it's what you said to people. And yes, the promoter bundle. So the mini is four thirty five fifty. I don't know if you can see that. And the max is 871 instead of 1300. All right. So if you guys have any more questions to fire those off in the chat, and I'll definitely get to those as well. Okay. So um, as we know, it's the end of the month, but we're also getting ready to launch into December. So tomorrow is a new month, right? If you guys are new here, just want to let you know when you go into your back office tomorrow morning, everything resets with a fresh slate. Do not panic. That is our encouragement to run 
really hard for the month. And the coolest thing about December is there's 31 days. We've got holidays. And after Christmas, people are tired of eating like garbage, right? So, oh, Mel with the 13 combos. Go ahead. That's amazing. Um, okay. So I thought tomorrow would be a really fun time for you guys to reset your algorithms by posting an open-ended question. I feel that um, asking people on my posts something completely non-related to ketones, but also something that they want to answer always helps with new engagement. So I looked up a couple of things that have had good engagement in December. That was a simple Google post. And something that came up was, what is a Christmas song that makes you cringe, right? Everybody wants to tell you grandma got run over by a reindeer is like the worst song ever, but everybody has to tell you that. So you're going to have people coming out of the woodworks to comment on your post tomorrow morning to reset your algorithm. So that's just one example of doing that. Another one I found was, what is a cherished family tradition from your childhood? I thought that was kind of sweet. So if you guys can think of anything for tomorrow, for December, to reset your algorithm algorithms, I definitely recommend an open-ended question that people feel like they want to answer, right? Like they're like, oh my gosh, she has to know my tradition about baking Christmas cookies in our backwards and inside out pajamas. Anyone else do that for snow days with the pajamas? No, must be a, a Jersey thing. That's what we did here. But anyway, um, so I thought that'd be a really good thing to do for tomorrow. So if you guys want to write down a little note for yourself, like when you wake up, and you roll over and put a post-it note on your phone. So when you wake up tomorrow, instead of checking your phone, the first thing you do is get that algorithm post up um, just so people can answer that. Yes, definitely want to change up the algorithm. Other ways to do that, if you've been on these action hours before, we always talk about wishing people happy birthdays, making sure that your, your posts to them are three to five words long. Um, that way they see what you're seeing. If you're also seeing a lot of prove it people, um, you can snooze people for 30 days. Doesn't mean you don't love them. It's just a way to have people, you know, see what's on your page and vice versa. So you can always go in the top right hand corner of all the posts of people that you see, click on the three little dots and hit snooze for 30 days. So that's definitely an option. Um, okay. So getting into December, I want you guys to take your Rhino run trackers from November. Think of all the people who you weren't able to seal the deal with tonight and message them first thing tomorrow in the morning. Cause guess what's happening tomorrow morning. It's reboots. It's reboots, right? So we can also get ready to launch our stories for our reboots and get people excited to shed their Thanksgiving bloat, their Black Friday chocolate, whatever you want to call it. Um, so the first thing I would encourage everybody to do tomorrow, and I know this is a little bit of a weird action hour because we're kind of getting ready for tomorrow, um, but I think it's really important that if we put this energy behind the month, it'll really launch our business, not only for December, but into 2022. So thinking about reboots, um, if you do not have stock photos of the reboot, I encourage you after this call to run into the place where you keep your ketones and take a picture of you with your reboot box and go, oh my gosh, I am going to crush this reboot, not this, um, crush this reboot. You know, this month I'm looking for five people to join me. You want to do a call to action with the reboot. So the first thing I would recommend is getting a picture with the reboot, making sure you grab a reboot for yourself tomorrow, right? Something I just heard on the champ call was energy of the leader, energy of the pack, instead of speed of the leader, speed of the pack. Um, so I thought that was really cool. If you're going to put a lot of energy behind these reboots, um, and see how many people that you can get to do the reboot with you. Um, Lori Hart wrote in the comments, the average person gains about 15 pounds between Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. That's a great quote to take and put in your stories and then introduce the reboot to everybody. So that's a great way to incorporate that. Thank you. Um, also, so you want to get the picture? Yes, Amber, I'm with you on that. Oh, crap. Um, so get that picture of you with the reboot encourage you guys to purchase the reboot. And then I would encourage maybe some reach outs tomorrow with that quote. Hey, you guys, I am guilty. I ate 
everything I could find on Thanksgiving and I continued all week and I am looking forward to resetting my metabolism and getting rid of, rid of this holiday bloat. Will you join me in a 60 hour assisted fast? Um, so that's something that you guys could do tomorrow as well. Um, so let's take five minutes right now and get our pen and paper out and think about people in your life, or maybe people who you celebrated Thanksgiving with that you can reach out to and ask them to join you in the reboot for this month. So we are going to, um, set the timer for five minutes and come up with that list. Once we get back, we'll come up with a little bit more verbiage for that as well.
All right, as we're wrapping that up with the list of people to join us in Reboots, other things that we want to put in our stories are before and afters of one, yourself, right? So if this is going to be your first reboot, make sure you take a before picture of yourself. You're going to want those results to shout from the rooftops because they're amazing. Um, you're going to want to share them with everybody. So if you have not yet done a reboot, reach out to your sponsor, see who you have on your team that you can tag on Instagram in your stories. People love that, right? How many times have we been on Instagram and we see other people, um, in other companies who are posting people's success stories and you know, they don't know those people, right? Like, you know, they're like, you don't know who that person is. We have this amazing community where we, we know what we're doing and the results are there. So what I would do is reach out to your sponsor. If you don't have any available pictures of anybody from the community and say, Hey, who can you send me? And what's their Instagram handle that way? Those people are going to share it too. And you might inspire the person who did that reboot to also reboot again. So kind of a ripple effect there. So reboots will be available tomorrow. Very excited for that. Okay. So the next thing that I want to move on to um, before our final thing is groups on Facebook, right? If anybody is um, in groups on Facebook, go look at like the first couple of groups that pop up. You can go over to your groups and you can look straight from Facebook about all the groups that you are in, but people are literally like dying for community right now. Like people are just, they, they're, they're emotional. They're looking for something. I want to encourage you guys. And we're going to take the next five minutes to do this is go into the top five groups that you have and do a welcome post for yourself. Okay. Mention nothing about ketones, nothing about ketones. Just say who you are, where you're from, why you are in the group. So if it's a gardening group, you can say, hi, my name is Jamie. I live in New Jersey. I just joined this gardening group. I kill all of my plants and now it's cold outside. Um, I'm just looking for tips and tricks on what plants I need to move inside. People love to give opinions. So the more that you can go out there and you can introduce yourself and get out there to get new connections with people, they're going to give you your opinions, right? If you are in keto groups, I just want to remind you to beware. Um, definitely be careful when you're going into keto groups because they do like to search people's profiles um, and they will kick you out. So um, other things that you're in, if you are a mom and you are in any mom's groups, you can actually search for like moms of babies born in 2018. You can join those groups and you can make connections there. Um, if you're a girl mom, if you're a boy mom, if you're a grandma, if you're a pop-up, there are groups for everybody out there. So I want to encourage you guys for the next five minutes, write up a post, very simple, possibly a picture of yourself, no ketones and just look for connection. People are looking for friends right now and we are the friendliest group of people I have ever met. Um, so let's do that. Let's take five minutes, go into our groups, do a welcome post. If this is a little you know, uneasy for you to do, just borrow the, the community here. We're all here for you to support you doing that. And then once you did the five, drop the word five in the chat below and we're gonna celebrate the heck out of it. And then we're gonna close out with one last thing that's gonna launch us us into December. So I will see you guys in five minutes.
All right, we've got one minute left. Scale of one to 10, how, how difficult was this? How challenging was this for you? Throw it in the chat. Also joy to answer your question from before, the challenge for December is December 10th through the 19th. All right, 30 more seconds. I see some people working, so we'll be back then. All right, we are back. So we got some people that said it was good and not bad. So hopefully you guys are now visible in five more groups. So that's awesome. If you guys just continue doing those steps every day this week, get yourselves into more, get yourselves into more groups and make sure that you're reacting with what people are saying, commenting back three or more words, thanking every single person. Um, who gives you any advice or anything like that. It's just a, it's a nice break from the normal feed post or story. It's a great way to also see all the groups that you're in that you're not even, you know, you, you may not even remember, oh my gosh, I'm in all of these groups. And that's a great thing to post too. Hey, I've been a member since 2018. I've been super inactive. Um, I'd love to hear what your best recipes are for Christmas. I don't know, whatever group you're in, uh, make it applicable. So the last thing I want to move in again is into launching December, and it's going to be going back to basics with trial packs, right? How many of you guys like trial packs the last five days were just not even a thought because you were just like, oh my gosh, there are so many amazing sales going on right now. I can't even possibly sit down and think about trial packs, right? Um, so this is a great opportunity to get back to the basics and post some trial sales for tomorrow. It's a great way to pair it with your reboot posts because if people are like, oh no, like 60 hours, no can do. Well, B is, hey, we have a 24 fast. Or if they're just like fasts aren't for me, great. I also have trials as well. So the fun thing about December is obviously we have some holiday seasons. Um, so I just came up with four fun names for trial packs. I have seen people pack out holiday trial packs with dollar store socks, um, with all types of fun holiday cups. You can go as crazy as you want, or you could be as simplistic as you want. So, um, I, I am somebody who does simple trial packs. I don't really put anything fun into mine. Just a nice handwritten thank you card. Um, here's a good idea. If your family is sending out Christmas cards, or holiday cards and you're sending out samples, it would be fun to put one of your cards in with your trial packs. That person that is going to be getting that, if they're, Joy's like, what? Um, if they're not typically somebody who is like close to your family, it might be really heartwarming for them to get a Christmas card. You never know the joy that you can spread in sending something as simple as a holiday card to possibly a stranger from the internet, but they're seeing your family anyway, if they're following you on social media. So that's just a little holiday tip there, but I'm gonna share with you guys the four trial pack names that I just came up with, but I'd love to hear any fun holiday trial pack names that you guys would come up with. So the first one I came up with was Santa's Jingle Juice. I thought that was cute. So you could do peppermint mocha, you could do strawberry peach, you could do any type of three, five, 10 day experience. Um, you know, write a little goal down for yourself tomorrow. How many trial packs you want to get out in the month of December and work towards that every single day. Um, so the other one is the magic of ketones, holly jolly ketosis and energized elf. So I thought those were some cute names. You can make the font really fun or cool. Um, so they were Santa's jingle juice, the magic of ketones, Holly Jolly Ketosis and Energized Elf. 
Um, Liz is like, oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. I'm going to check your stories tomorrow for that one, Liz. <laughs> Um, so anything like anything fun, holiday, like just getting back into the basic rhythm of getting trials out because right. What do trials do? They're going to go into your rhino run and they're going to help you build into 2022. If those people, you know, aren't purchasing in December, it's going to be awesome for January. I cannot believe we're already talking about 2022. So that's what I would recommend guys tomorrow, reboots, trials, going into your messenger for the rest of tonight and just having new conversations, talking about that 33% off sale till you're blue in the face and then waking up tomorrow with that clean slate and hitting the ground running. Again, I'm going to say energy of the leader, energy of the pack, just say energy of yourself. That ripple is just going to be super inspiring um, to others. So I'm going to type those four names in the chat for everybody. And then if you guys have any questions, we have about six more minutes. You can come off mute and we'll chat. You guys being shy tonight? No one has any questions about anything. All right, well, we're gonna wrap this bad boy up. I hope you guys have an amazing night. Crush the end of this month and get ready to rock and roll into December. And I cannot wait to see y'all soon. Bye. Oh, Amanda, I will stay on here if you wanna ask your question, go ahead. Yep. All right. So Amanda asked, what is your best advice to get your first customer? I've been with the company for six weeks. Awesome. So the first thing would be getting a first post up and having that post be um, enticing, exciting, um, but also not giving it all away. Like just talking about what you love about what you've been doing for the past six weeks and also plugging in your sponsor as well. Um, if awesome, we're trying everything. So I would definitely reach out one-on-one -on -one with your sponsor and let them know that you are, you know, challenged with the things that you're being challenged with currently. Um, if you want, um, Hmm. I will try to find you on social and see if we can connect there. Sound like a plan? All right, y'all have an amazing night.